Well, hello, family. This is Sister Summer with another praise report. Uh, got a great revelation uh, actually last night, but it was just confirmed this morning when Bishop was teaching during first service. First of all, I just want to thank and praise the Lord for giving me this revelation and this praise report when I did not have my head tied up and when I didn't feel like I was looking a mess. And I also just want to say, I just love the Word of God because it is always on point. So here goes. Last night, I was reviewing Bishop's message from last Sunday or last Wednesday. And I was in Acts 2, verse 1 which is, of course, talking about the day of Pentecost. And verse 1 says, When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Now, as you know, on uh, Sunday, this is the 16th, because I don't know when this is going to air, when you're going to be looking at this. Bishop focused on the one accord language. And when I was studying, there was a little number one by the one accord and when you press the number one it has the word together so everything that we talk about with Pentecost and and how the Holy Spirit came on everybody and everybody was just praying in the spirit and there was power there they were all together so not only were they united in what they were speaking which was God's word but they were together in one place physically. And so as a first service person, I really believe that the Lord is saying that we at Guiding Light need to all be together in one place, in one service. And I know that's going to ruffle a lot of feathers. Believe me, I am a first service person. I prefer to come in early and leave early and have the rest of my day. I get all of that. But time is growing short, everybody, and we really need to walk according to what Holy Spirit is telling us, no matter what we may desire, that is not necessarily in line with what the Word of God is saying. And if we are serious about God's power working in the Guiding Light Church and His Holy Spirit coming into the church and into every single member of the church, we need to walk in what he has told us to do and follow the example of the church at Pentecost, meaning they were all together. And I believe that Holy Spirit is saying that we need to be in one service, on one accord, speaking and praying God's word. And then here's another tidbit. I mean, it's like the Lord just, he gives you a word and then he will give you another word and it's just confirmation that you're actually hearing from the Holy Spirit. If we were to have one service and um, we tried to meet people in the middle, you know, we have a 745 service and then we have a 1030 service. Well, guess what the middle is? Nine o'clock. And what we learned on last Wednesday is that nine o'clock, AKA the third hour of prayer, that is the hour when um, the day of Pentecost came that is the um, third hour of prayer, which is actually the first time that um, the early church would, would pray. So if we had one service right in the midst of the two services that we currently have, we would be praying all together in one place at the time that the early church was praying together in one place. I mean, it's clear to me, everybody, I believe the Lord is speaking. And um, if this is offending anyone, I just ask you to just really ask the Holy Spirit if this is something that is in line with the Word of God. I believe that the answer will be yes. And I am just so excited about what God is doing at the Guiding Light Church. Um, I'm so thankful for Him giving me this desire in my heart that we all be together on one accord in one place at one service hopefully at nine o'clock i hope y'all have a great one and you're blessed bye bye mm, how do you do this oh <laughs> i still didn't do it what is that?
How many lawyers does it take to turn off the camera? Let's see. 